I was diagnosed with aplastic anemia when I was 11 years old in 1993. They also said your best shot at a long-term survival is through a bone marrow transplant. And that's when ethnicity came into play. That's when I was told because you're half Chinese and you're half Caucasian and your kind of ethnic mix is so rare that the chances of you finding a match are one in a million. No doubt my mixed race heritage is the reason why it's so hard to find a match. It's not that, oh, it's just, if you're Asian, it's harder to get a match. No, it's just that there are less Asians on the registry. Then you take mixed race people and there's like no one on the registry. My mission is still the same from day one. It's been the same message, which is I wanna help people, I wanna save them, I want to bring joy to families and, and help bring cures to families by registering people. I, I did write a letter to her. Oh, good. Good. To my recipient. <laughs> I'm very blessed to be able to participate in the opportunity to hopefully, you know, help your life. And um, I love you even though I don't know you. And I really, really hope that this transplant is successful, but know that even if it isn't, that I am so happy to do it for you. And uh, I'm excited to do it for you. And I will never regret it. I just pray that I can be a blessing to you and to your family and to change your life because you have already changed mine and I haven't even met you yet. It's, it's bittersweet because I, I, I think about um, some of the patients that don't end up having a good ending and I, I think about the feelings attached to that and for these families it's it's very real and it's like every day that they're battling this and it's even worse when you know there's a cure out there but you just can't grasp it it's like it's a it's it's elusive for like many people